Palestinians armed with axes, knives and pistols went on a rampage inside a Jerusalem synagogue during morning prayers. Four rabbis were killed and eight people were wounded. The latest killings are part of a continuing cycle of violence in the holy city. World leaders condemned the episode. Israel's prime minister is vowing retribution. CCTV's Stephanie Freed in Jerusalem has this report. The men inside this Jerusalem synagogue gathered for daily morning prayer were unarmed and unprepared for the two armed Palestinian men who barged in and began a killing spree. My husband woke up. He heard someone screaming that there's murder, murder. And he just got a major shock and he called the police. And I woke up also. I didn't realize what was happening. We came to the window and we saw the police arriving. And we realized that there had been a murder inside the synagogue. Not one but four murders and eight wounded, several in serious condition. The assailants, cousins from East Jerusalem, were shot dead at the scene. The events took place in one of Jerusalem's docile religious neighborhoods where prayer dominates politics. The attack took place at the synagogue here behind me, as one resident put it, at a time of mourning when the synagogue was packed with worshipers. A police spokesman here on the ground said the assailants knew the place, they knew what was happening at that time of day, they knew what they were doing. The deadliest attack to hit Jerusalem in six years and the latest in a string of violent clashes between Palestinians and Jews in Jerusalem in the past month. UN and EU officials, Canada's foreign minister and US Secretary of State John Kerry all condemned the killings. Israel's prime minister and Israeli officials blamed Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas for inciting the events. Israel vowed to deliver a heavy-handed response. The world has to make sure that the Palestinian Authority understands it cannot win using terror. And uh, I'm, there's no doubt in my mind, we will win this fight. We won it before, we'll win now. Abbas's office issued a statement saying the presidency condemns the attack on Jewish worshippers in their place of prayer and condemns the killing of civilians no matter who is doing it. Israeli retribution came within hours. Police and special forces surrounded the East Jerusalem homes of the two assailants facing off against rock-throwing Palestinians. Searching for clues to the rampage, they ransacked the attackers' homes and apprehended a dozen of their relatives. Neighbors and family members showed little remorse for the killings, blaming the violence on Israel for permitting right-wing Jewish activists to enter Islam's third holiest site, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. We are not dogs. We are human beings. They are the dogs. They are the racist. Netanyahu and his racist friends enter Al-Aqsa every day. In the wake of Tuesday's killings, Israeli police and security forces are on alert for a Palestinian backlash. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Jerusalem.